Let me tell you about a place far beyond the sprawl of suburban America, where success and failure collide, and where utopia and the apocalypse meet to dance a dirty tango. It's a special place, a bit closer than you might think, that draws a unique group of outsiders looking for an awfully beautiful life on the edge of a beautifully awful paradise. Bombay Beach, population 295. There's no fast foods here. There's no, uh, no recreation for youngsters, kids or anything. I mean, it ain't nothing here. You can't get nothing. The store's closed at 6 o'clock. So you can't buy booze after another 6 o'clock. I like it here. I'll yeah. die here. I mean, come on, we ain't even got a mall or nothing out here. We're away from everything. But it's it's just a super, super wonderful place. Yeah. It was a resort in the 1960s, actually longer, and now it's forgotten. Retro billboard. The Salton Sea itself is just one big mistake. Yeah, there was a documentary on this place. I wonder where, uh, I wonder if those people are still here. Probably not, that was like, was it 08 that documentary came out? While many continue to wait for the dream, across the sea in the working class haven of Bombay Beach, people have already found paradise. But half flooded, with no gas station, one tiny store, two delightful bars, and an obsession with golf carts, this dusty little town isn't everyone's idea of what the dream was supposed to become. There's the windmill house from the documentary. <laughs> found it. Let's see, let's check out the windmill house. So yeah, we're definitely at the documentary spot. Look at that ridiculous windmill house. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if these people still live here, the ones that were in the documentary. They love their golf carts. I remember that from the documentary. I know it's like 120 degrees out here in the summer. It's hot today. It was like 85 in Slab City. It's uh, 100 here. Where's the turn at? There it is. There it is, the windmill house from the documentary. Right there. I don't think anyone's living in there. Stop by. There it is. The windmill house. So in the documentary, one of the ladies was going down this street in her golf cart and pointed out this house. Those houses look abandoned right here. Yeah, interesting town. Lifted Van Meet, October 2023. Salton Sea, Bombay Beach is gonna be one of the stops. I found the windmill house. Where's Hunky Daddy at? Hunky Daddy, that's what I call it. And this is your other dog. I Let me go get some beer. This is a baby boy. That over there, she, 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 she has baby. Oh. And she is pretty too. I like her. They are very friendly. Everybody have fun. Fun for the road. Fun for you too. Come on. So what? Here. That's what I got. Ooh. Here. Don't hurt you, sir. Les, he's uh, one of a kind, that's for sure. Hey, go. Watch this. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, take care, take care, you too. Mom, Daddy, my baby. That's my, my guy right here. Yeah. Woo! It's 
pretty spectacular that this is not nature. It's not a natural body of water. This is man-made. So before this uh, town got flooded and people evacuated it, this place was a resort, luxury resort destination. People used to go boating here, fishing. This was gonna be the next Palm Springs. And then like I said, in the 1970s, this whole area just flooded, destroyed the area, people evacuated. Few people still live out here. According to that sign, 290 people live out here. But yeah, this is only 30 minutes away from Slab City. And then see that mountain over there? That's the other side. It's like six miles across. Unfortunately, you gotta drive all the way around this to get to the other side. And this is Bombay Beach. California's version of the French Riviera with uh, beautiful weather, water available for boating and as a place for recreation and fishing and so on. Fishing in the summer is great. Right. The hotter the water, the better the fishing. That's not edible fish. If they're eating those fish and they eat very much of them, they'll get botulism poisoning. That sea is filthy. Retro sign right there from the 1960s. The material is here. It'll take a lot of work. But I think it'll be worth it in the end. I'm just sorry that I won't be here to see it, probably. My life expectancy is, I guess, around 11 years, something like that. And uh, I don't expect to see miracles in that time. What does man seek? Whatever it is, it's here at Salton City. Here is all that you and your family, your children and your children's children will want. In sports, in relaxation, in pleasure, in health, in security. Yes, an investment in a growing, prosperous future. This is the birth of a city, an investment in the future. The future is now. And you, you have been present at the birth of a city.